Spacesuits are necessary should an astronaut choose to visit outside of a space station. They are occasionally required for the International Space Station, and they will be required even more for astronauts who wish to explore the surface of Mars. My name is Ben Pearson, the Roaster Tracker, and today I'm going to talk about spacesuits. Spacesuits have evolved over time. Generally speaking, there are three types of spacesuits that are used in spaceflight. The first is a flight suit, which is used just for the flight into space, and it typically only has a very limited life support for around 20 minutes or so. The life support is plugged into the spacecraft and maintained during a nominal flight, but it can be quickly removed in the event of an emergency. A few examples of these are the Space Shuttle Pumpkin suits, Russian Sokol suits used for the Soyuz spacecraft, the SpaceX Dragon suit, and the Boeing Starliner suit. One also famous example is the suit that is used by the everyday astronaut Tim Dodd. The everyday astronaut suit is actually a high-altitude jet suit and not one that has been used to fly into space, but they follow the same principles for the same reasons. The second class is the one that most people tend to think of when they think of a spacesuit, namely the EMU suit. These are worn by astronauts when they're performing extravehicular activities. They are more robust than the previously mentioned flight suits and contain their own life support units. They can support the astronauts for up to 10 hours. They are more robust and allow the astronauts to actually perform work. They are only used in space, however, and could not really be used on the surface of a planet. For a mission to Mars, a third type of suit will be important. The only type of this spacesuit that has been previously used was the Apollo astronaut spacesuit, which was used to travel on the surface of the moon. These spacesuits are very similar to the EMU units in that they contain life support, but they are also more robust, including boots and the ability to withstand small falls and micrometeor impacts that a spacesuit in space does not require, not being on a planet itself. This is also the type of spacesuit that Mark Watney uses for most of the movie The Martian, although it is very distinct from the one that was worn at the end, which was used while traveling to space. Both the surface and space EMUs are bulky and difficult to move in. They wear astronauts out quicker than operating in a shirt sleeve environment. They also have a limited mobility compared to such an environment. These spacesuits were designed while looking at medieval armor in part due to its ability to be more flexible. However, they are not perfect. There are a couple of designs that have been proposed to improve the mobility, particularly with eyes on a mission to Mars. The two primary types are the Z-series, namely the Z-1, 2, and upcoming Z-3 suit that are being developed by NASA, and the MIT Bio suit, which uses a different mechanism entirely. The Z-suit is similar to the current generation spacesuits. However, it weighs less, is more flexible, and has a better vision than the currently used EMUs. One particularly interesting feature is the ability to put on the spacesuit on the outside of the spacecraft and not track in any dirt into the interior. This will be particularly useful as moon dust caused many serious issues in the Apollo program. When we were on Earth, there's a constant pressure from all directions. Without this pressure, we would bruise. Most spacesuits rely on air pressure to maintain the same pressure that we feel on Earth. A second type of spacesuit, namely the MIT Biosuit, uses mechanical tightness instead of air pressure to maintain this internal pressure. These suits are able to be more flexible and lighter than an air pressure filled system. Only the helmet itself has the air that is necessary for the astronauts to breathe in. Many interesting ideas exist to build better spacesuits. A future mission to Mars should have a better spacesuit than we have previously seen. Thank you very much for joining me. Let me know whatever comments you guys have about spacesuits. Let me know what your favorite design is for the future out there. Until next time, keep on tracking and take care.